Hey Legends, Gary from ARC here and I want to introduce you guys to one of our latest innovations but before I do I want to give you a brief rundown on what a typical 12 volt camping setup would look like and hopefully by the end of the video you guys will get a better understanding of our product and how it may apply to your situation. So uh, to get started you'd normally have a 12 volt battery um, and that battery supplies power to your 12 volt setup or your devices. Um, normally that battery is then charged by a charger, uh, traditionally in the form of a DC-DC charger. But then what happens after that? Well, over the past couple of years we've seen a lot of these 12 volt control boxes going into vehicles. They serve a purpose. You've got your switches here, you've got your Anderson plugs in and out here, you've got your fuse box for protection, some outlets and a voltmeter. Now, introducing the Exotech Power Distribution Hub. As you can see from a quick glance, there is a quite a significant size difference. So we've taken all the features of this and put it into a neat, compact, innovative 12 volt control box that you, the user, can not only control but monitor your 12 volt battery. Now installing the power distribution hub is a breeze and really not technical at all. Um, there's really only two inputs that you have to worry about. Input number one is this 50 amp Anderson style connector input. So basically you're going to run from your auxiliary battery through a 50 amp fuse and into here and then the PDH or power distribution hub is powered up and ready to supply power through all of the outlets. Uh, input number two is a water tank sensor input. Now the power distribution hub is compatible with the RV electronic sender probes so you can see, uh, monitor a single water tank basically through this port. After that You've got the four mounting holes here, so with that you can basically screw it onto any surface and you're ready to go. Now it won't be called the power distribution hub if it doesn't actually distribute power. And we do this through nine outputs. The first four outputs, which are controlled from these sleek push buttons here, are the four relays. So you would normally run these to your lights, pump, water pump, fridge, etc. So that is through this uh, Felix connector over here. You wire in your four outputs there, and then you can control them from these buttons, which are then identified by the four relay lights here. So if you press this on, relay one will light up. Now, here are your live outputs. You got a 12 volt, 10 amp socket here, twin USBs, 2.1 amp each, a 15 amp merit socket here and a 10 amp angle style socket here as well. I like that little feature of a twist and lock. And another 50 amp Anderson style connector out here as well. So not only does the power distribution hub supply power for your 12 volt camping setup, it actually monitors the auxiliary battery as well. Um, it does that in two ways. So in real time, in real time you're gonna know how many amps you're using how much power you're drawing, what voltage your battery is at, and the state of charge of your battery. Um, and uh, the second way it does it is in total power consumption. So in total power consumption, basically between charges, it's going to tell you what you've used, how much amps you've used, how much power you've used, and also based on your usage, how long you have until your battery needs recharging. So the power distribution hub also offers a full suite of protection, both for the outputs on the unit and for your battery as well. So it does this in many ways. So protection for your battery comes in the way of uh, overcurrent protection, temperature protection, reverse polarity protection. Uh, one of my favorite features on the unit as well is the low voltage cutout protection for the battery. So similar to the 12 volt fridges, um, there is a high, medium and low setting that you can set the PDH to by simply using this fifth button over here, which is the mode button. So you can just go through and click through high, medium, low. Now, there is another feature of the unit which allows you to override that low voltage cutoff protection, which is a no protection mode. 
You would typically use this in a time where, say you want to run an air compressor. Air compressors put a large spike into the system and by doing this, lower the voltage of the battery quite quickly. So your normal voltage protection that you would have in there would tend to cut that out. So utilizing something like that, which draws a high amount of power uh, instantly, you can go into the no protection mode to override that function. Um, and that'll allow you to use that compressor or that high current device for that time. Um, and then you can basically go back to your preset selection after that. So that's the battery protection. Now for the outputs, I mean, as you can remember on that control box, there was quite a large fuse box on the top corner. So we've done away with removable, replaceable fuses, and we have a suite of protection set in here in the way of self-resetting fuses, which is identified by the fuse block here and the array of circuits. So these circuits will be lit up um, when the unit is active, and then if one of the lights are out, that means that circuit is out and it will reset back in due time. So for a 12 volt control box, um, this PDH or power distribution hub is packed full of features, but there is a little bit more that we are going to offer you guys. So in a way of a smartphone app. So we have an iOS and an Android version. You can basically get onto the App Store or Google Store and look up the Arc Smart Hub and the PDH will be within that app. Click on it, you will open it up. Look, I'm gonna go through a whole another video for setting up your PDH, but basically in the app, it'll allow you to do all the monitoring as well remotely. Um, you can also control these four relays remotely. So basically from the comfort of your camp chair, you can be kicking back, having a beer, enjoying the fire, and you, know, you can turn your lights on and off if needed remotely. Um, as well on the app, you can rename the device, you can rename all the relays, uh, you can set your battery type and size. And the other good thing is, is that you can buy multiple PDH devices. You can have one set up in your vehicle, one set up in your camper, one in your boat, and you can actually load each device into the app separately, rename each device accordingly, and rename all the relays and, and um, your battery sizes accordingly as well. Okay guys, so that is the Exotech Power Distribution Hub or PDH for short. Hopefully you guys have got a good understanding about the product. They are available in Australia, US and Canada. Visit our website, arccorporation.com and check it out.